Okay, today I'm looking at this Bell Cantilever 300 three bike trunk rack that I picked up on uh, Walmart.com. Actually ordered it through the website and had it uh, delivered to the store same day, uh, just for convenience sake. Picked it up on the way home from work, and uh, now I'm gonna throw it on the car here and see how difficult that task is. Okay, so in the box it looks like. There is a bike rack. I'm trying to do this with one hand is a little tricky. Here is the rack. And I guess that's all that's in the box. Looks like the instructions are wrapped around that bar there. Okay, so the first step was to unfold and extend the, uh, the bicycle rack supports by pushing those red buttons on either side of the, the rack and kind of swinging this out and then for a hatchback or an SUV which is what this thing is going to go on the instructions recommend leaving this bottom bar or what they call the trunk bar um, clipped to the bottom bar with this clip here so I'll just reattach that and uh, I guess now what I'll do is free up these straps so that they can be extended. I'll remove these um, elastics that came with them. Alright, you can see I've got the rack placed on here loosely and uh, in order to do that I just kind of roughly positioned it and then threw the, the top straps up through a seam in the hatchback here and just pulled on these to kind of snug it up. It's not tightened up in here or anything yet and it looks like it's positioned fairly well on the car. Okay, so then for the side and lower straps, you can see these are actually marked lower and side. I've positioned them about like that. And in order to get the lower one on, I ended up having to pop the hatch a little bit here so that I could get the hook underneath the lip of the, um, the lid. And then I got that on and then used the straps and just kind of adjusted everything so that it's snug. Now I'll try and repeat the process over on this side. Okay, so I'll try, attempt to show this here. I don't have a tripod or anything handy, so I apologize for the camera angle, but um, anyway, here's the bottom strap, the one marked lower. I've got the hatch popped. Thought I did. And then just get the hook underneath the lip. Adjust the strap so it's roughly the right length. And then I guess on this side I gotta pop it some more. And once that's sort of where it wants to be naturally, you can kind of tighten up on the strap. And it looks like that's all there is to it. So I'm just gonna tighten these straps up good and tight, and then I guess I'll throw the bikes on. Okay, so I've got everything tightened up. Uh, <clears throat> I'll deal with these in a minute, but you can see that it's all pretty snug. It feels pretty sturdy to me. I don't think it's going to go anywhere at the moment. Um, and another benefit that I didn't realize I'd be able to do this is the way that this attaches, I can open my hatch here and still get at the back. So that's kind of nice. Probably wouldn't want to do that with a bike on there, but, um, but at least I don't have to take this off to open the back. Okay, so I've got the uh, bike mounted on. I've got the, uh, the main tube Velcroed to this cradle here. And I've got the upright Velcroed here with the, the rack in between the, the upright and the down tube or whatever those things are called. Anyway, the bike seems like it's on there uh, fairly secure. I also added a bungee cord down here to keep it from kind of flopping around. It was, it was kind of flopping around there, but I think that'll hold it tight enough now. And I also used a couple of zip ties here to take up the slack and the tie downs just so it doesn't flop around in the breeze. I can just cut those off later when I'm done with them. I get zip ties for almost free, so I can, uh, I can just do that rather than tie it and deal with trying to untie knots and things. And then this one was a little bit longer, so I wrapped it up around here and then zip tied the slack. And then this way here I can still tighten this up if I need to tighten it at all. 
Okay, so here it is with two bikes mounted, which is all I plan to mount on this. Um, I wanted to get a three bike rack just because I thought it would be a little more rugged than the two bike rack and have just a little bit more room. So you can see that I've got the second bike on the outer uh, saddle and left the inner one unused, but just kind of squished everything to the front. I've got the Velcros wrapped around the tubes here. As you can see, everything seems pretty snug. I mean, it's going to move around a little bit, but it's not too awful bad. And then I've got a couple bungee cords there wrapped around the frames and the bottom bars of the rack to just kind of keep everything from flopping around too much. The straps seem rugged enough. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about are these plastic buckles, especially over time in the sun and the UV might might weaken these things, they might get brittle. So I wouldn't recommend leaving this on the car for any length of time. But uh, but I think for the occasional road trip or uh, or run around town to the bike uh, bike trail or, or whatever, I think this thing is perfectly fine and uh, reasonably affordable at $60. So anyway, I guess that's it for the, the Bell Cantilever 300 bike rack that I've got mounted on my 2007 Pontiac Vibe. Hopefully this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.